A well-executed breakout is critical to team success. A well-executed investment plan is critical to financial success. Let me develop a plan with your goals in mind. John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com from the Scotiabank Center in Halifax. I'm joined by Timo Meyer. What are your expectations entering this year? After your first year, you had 34.17 goals as a, as a first year moose head, and yet this year you really ratcheted up, almost tripling your numbers. You had 44 goals and 90 points. I think, uh, you know, coming in the draft year, you have, uh, you want to push yourself a lot and just, uh, you know, last year I had to adjust to a lot of things. The second year, it's, uh, it's, all, all, it's always easier because, uh, you know, the things here already and, uh, you, you know, we had, uh, we had, we had some trades and uh, that helped me to step up too, you know, you have to be a better leader when, uh, when there's a lot of young guys in the room. He made the World Junior. He had some uh, 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 some success over there. So, and, and we all know the World Junior is a 19 years old tournament, and the pace of the game is very high. And the fact he was able to follow the pace of the game. Is there something that the scouts and the teams should know about Timo Meyer that perhaps they don't know? Uh, I'm not a guy that that's a big. That's a lot of trouble or anything. Uh, I think I'm uh, I'm really disciplined and. Uh, I'm uh, easy going, it, uh, not, not, not hard to handle and fun to be around and just coming into the rink uh, trying to get better every day and coming in with the purpose and uh, just work hard. I think his play has, from the beginning of the year as uh, he continues to ramp up and going forward as the season went on. It was very evident during the uh, prospect game. I thought he did a great job as a complimentary player to uh, and a star player and McDavid. Some have suggested he's flown under the radar for till, till the last couple of months. I think he was initially ranked as a, perhaps a third rounder. But tell me about uh, the player that you see, and are you as surprised as many seem to be about his play? No, and if you can promise he's going to be there in the third round? <laughs> no, Timo is a type of kid, like, you know, we have the, the luxury of getting to Europe. Uh, so I, I actually saw Timo when he was a 15-year-old in, in Switzerland, and he was playing with the 18 and 19-year-olds. And right off the bow, okay, you knew there was something there. And then I was really pleased to, to see that he was coming to Canada because we saw the flashes last year and so forth. And flying under the radar, yeah, maybe that's fair, but I mean, uh, he's the, the potential, and I mean, the upside has always been there. Big power forward to... Uh... Drops the gloves as well. You had to do it once this year with Sam Henley of the Charlottetown Islanders. Tell me where that fits in your game. Uh, for sure, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big guy and uh, I like to use my body and like to play physical. But uh, yeah, if there is, uh, I, I don't mind dropping the gloves. It's uh, just more to protect my uh, teammate. You're going to be able to play against good players and with good players if you're going to be a successful NHL player. He was playing against some of the very best juniors in Canada and was very good in the CHL, rather. And then he's playing with the best player in the CHL in Connor McDavid, an excellent skater. He's taking it to the net, his quickness. He's got great hands, great hunger. He's a strong player. He's got strong legs. But he's a very intelligent player. So combined with that, I think he's got a real good future going forward. The argument that, oh, he's playing with the best player, one of the best in the CHL, that's why things are going so well this season. Well, when you play with the best player, you better be able to adapt to the best player. And it takes a lot of skill to understand exactly and to read the, the, the mind of the other player. Uh, if you didn't lead the league in shots taken, you uh, were among the leaders and dangerous shots as well. Some players have that pass-first mentality. You obviously have that shoot-first mentality. For sure, I'm, uh, I'm a guy that has a, has a good shot and I really like to use it. And uh, when I'm in front of the net, for sure, the first, uh, the first option I have in my head is uh, shoot the puck and uh, try to score. Yeah, I was able to gain some confidence this year, you know, putting up the, the numbers. It's, uh, it's for sure easier in the, in the head to, uh, to stay positive, uh, but I think it, was, uh, it, was, uh, it's, it's, it is important uh, to, be, uh, to be mental ready, and, uh, but I think it helped me a lot to be working with, uh, with a great uh, with a great coach and stuff that they uh, they helped me a lot with that